Hi, I'm Owen Wiseman. I'm a writer here at Benaroya Publishing, and I'm the writer of the comic series Samurai's Blood from Image Comics that's out right now. Um, Samurai's Blood is an epic revenge tale in the vein of filmmakers like Akira Kurosawa and Yoji Yamada, uh, but it's translated to comics and done in English from a Western point of view. Uh, the three main characters are three teenage samurai, Jun, Katashi, and Mayuko, who are from the same tiny mountain village in Edo, Japan, which is the early 17th century by our reckoning. And they're part of the ruling family for their province, but when their family is destroyed and they're the only three left, they're left to seek their vengeance and seek the resurrection of their clan. And that's what the whole story is concerned with, is them trying to survive and seek their vengeance. The title Samurai's Blood works on a couple different levels. There's certainly some literal blood in the comic, but more than that, it's about what it means to be a samurai. It's about certain people having the blood, certain people not having it, and the difference between samurai and other people. Um, in addition, it's about the difference between masters and retainers within the realm of samurai. So Jun is in charge of uh, Katashi, who is his retainer, and it's about that relationship and what kind of conflicts and problems come up as a result of that. Well, it's funny, I, I didn't know it at the time, but I've actually been training to write this story for a really long time. Um, way back in seventh grade, I was accidentally put into a Japanese class uh, at my middle school, and I had no interest in it, but the sensei, Mr. Flood, convinced me to stay for a week and see if I liked it, and after a week I was completely hooked. Uh, he started showing us movies by Kurosawa in Japanese. Um, we played Hanafuda, which is a Japanese card game played by the Yakuza. He taught us a lot about the uh, history, culture, and of course the language of Japan. And I studied it on and off then uh, through college, but it really is true that my love affair with uh, Japan and its culture started when I was pretty young.